hello there. You know, just a few short years ago, a lot of people thought that this bad boy was the peak of vehicle engineering. But sadly, we advanced into the future. New ways to power our vehicles, no longer powered by gasoline, by the old uh, ground up black dinosaur blood in the ground. The problem is, what about your house? Does that have enough power? When you're charging your car at night, can you also run the dishwasher? Can you play your video games? Can you wash your clothes? These are problems we're here to try to solve. All right, everybody, what's going on? I'm here with Jonathan Crosby. He's an engineer, he's an EV enthusiast, and he has a problem, but he also might have a solution. So Jonathan, take us away. So the problem I run into is if I'm charging my car at night and my water heater kicks on, I'm running my electric dryer, I'm running a cycle in the dishwasher, is that gonna trip my breaker? And one of the solutions I thought might be interesting is if your EV charger could communicate with your household appliances, you could modulate the electricity or the current going to your car uh, as needed so that you're not tripping your main breaker. All right, John, and so some of us don't quite have an EV yet, but I feel like a lot of us can see in the future, you're not just gonna have one, you might have two, you know, your kids might have one, you might have like four of these things. Yep. How are you gonna charge them all at once? What, what do you think the future looks like? Exactly, I think the future is going all electric. I don't know how long it'll take to get there. So the charging infrastructure is gonna be a challenge. And I think that includes the home charging infrastructure. So I think the solution here is an electric vehicle charger that's installed in your home, that's connected to Wi-Fi, that communicates with your appliances in your household so that it can optimize its charging profile based on what is going on with your appliances. So it allows me to do everything I need to do in my house while not having to worry about tripping my main breaker. All right, let's go build it. All right, let's do it. All right, everybody, so we had a problem, but now we're here in the future with a solution. We got Bobby, the tech guru, genius wizard. He's back and he has a solution for us. What'd you come up with? So what we've done is we've connected our uh, EV charger to our appliances. So whenever we turn on our dryer, for instance, if we know that our dryer is going to overload the circuit and uh, in combination with the vehicle charging, what we can do, rather than actually stopping the vehicle from charging or having to unplug something or plan your chores around when you're gonna charge your car, we can actually look at how much current that the uh, your appliances are gonna consume and we can just turn down the charger by that amount. So if we need to decrease the charging by 10 amps so that your dryer can run, we can do that. As soon as we know your dryer is gonna come on, which we know because we're part of GE Appliances, we can turn down your charger and allow your charger to still use that excess capacity in your circuit, but uh, still allow your appliances to run. So what we need from you is to head on over to co-create so you can engage with me and the other engineers here at First Build and tell us exactly what this thing should do. As you can see, we're powering the future. We're moving forward and creating appliances and new technologies for your homes. And if you wanna see more, be sure to like, subscribe, tune in for other exciting things going on here at First Build, and as always, Thanks for watching.